India loses about 400 people every single day on the roads. 50% of those who were lost could be saved if they got care on time. On the 5th April 2007, my little cousin passed away in a road crash. And when I learned the circumstances surrounding his death, I realized that his life could have been saved. Had he received care on time, had bystanders come forward to more proactively uh, support him. A lot of the public inaction was driven by fear. There was a practice by the police to detain and question people who were helping road crash victims, thinking they must be helping them because of a sense of guilt, because they caused that incident to take place in the first place. That propelled me to establish the Save Life Foundation. We started by training people to become medical first responders to injured persons and advocating for India's first Good Samaritan law that would allow people to help victims without any fear of consequences. Winning the Rolex Award in 2010 was quite transformational for me. It was the first validation that we were on the right path. It gave me the confidence to quit my job, to dedicate myself full-time to uh, saving lives on roads. And back in 2016, the Supreme Court instituted India's first ever binding Good Samaritan law. Listening to that judgment, I had tears coming down my face. It was one of the most defining moments of my life. I think the first, first time I felt useful. <laughs> it provides protection, provides encouragement to anyone and everyone who wants to come forward and help uh, those who are injured. Over the last decade, the Good Samaritan law and the training that we did has led to the rescue of more than 350,000 people but I really wanted to start working on the prevention of these incidents that take place. So we came up with a project called the Zero Fatality Corridor, which means that we will adopt some of the highest fatality stretches of roads in the country, work to make them fatality free and eventually institutionalize what works so that scaling can happen to the rest of the country and hopefully to the rest of the low and middle income world. Put all, all the green space that you see is the space that was excess space right. that has now been taken over from a pedestrian standpoint. We started with the Mumbai Pune Expressway. We fixed more than 3,500 engineering issues, enabled police to carry out more tactical enforcement, strengthened trauma care that was available on that road, and that led to a 52% reduction in fatalities in a four-year period. The most significant drop in fatality seen by any road in the country. And now we're running a project in Delhi where we are making intersections on highways passing through Delhi fatality free. So that side is done. Then we have bikers coming in from there. The problem is not solved yet. I would love to see a day when Save Life is redundant. It's not required to exist primarily because there is a mechanism to solve the issue, to save lives, and that plays a very significant role in keeping things going.